And now, once again, folks, it's time for Aliens Alley, brought to you by PWA. Fly with Peter in the air, fly with Peter everywhere. Don't you miss that business date, Peter's Western won't be late. We'll fly you east, we'll fly you west, we'll drop you off at your request. If you don't want to fly with us... For hell with you, go take a bus! <laughs> And now, here's Aliens Alley. Let's look in on Fred. Well, Portland, they say the West is riled and separation is on the minds of many Western Canadians. And so, our question today on Aliens Alley is, should the West separate? Shall we go? Well, as one shovel said to the other, let's start digging. I wonder if Nestor Pister is at home. Nestor! Hell, you new son of a gun! Was nice to recommend your face, how you was? It? Fine, Nestor, fine. Now, do you think I could ask you a question? Alien boy, you can your time, and your time. <laughs> Nestor, do you think the West should separate? Yeah. Do you remember when I was running for prime minister last election? And I was said to my platform, West is West, and East is East, and only Air Canada could separate us. Do you remember? Yes, Nestor, I remember. And do you remember in Montreal when I was saying, don't let the WAC ruin it Quebec? Do you remember that? Yes, Nestor, yes. And do you remember that rainy day in Vancouver when I said, let's all stick together no matter what the weather? I remember, Nestor. My sweater got all wet that day, yes. And do you remember that profound statement I was making to Halifax, Nova Scotia? If borrow you will and borrow you must, we got it lots more in our heritage trust. Do you remember that, then? Well, sure I remember that, Nestor. And how about that statement to end all statements? That one I was making to Toronto when I was said, French, Mormons, Catholic, and Jews, lend me your ears. I have come here not to bury Canada, but to praise it. Do you remember all those great speeches I made that keep Canada together? Don't separate. Remember? Yeah, yes, yes, Nestor, I remember. Hell, you new son of a gun. Why you lie to me? I never made those speeches. <laughs> I have the distinct feeling I've been had. Well, let's try this one last door and see if that perennial wonder from Perry Sound is in. Uh, howdy, Charlie. Howdy, Boob. Uh, how, how are you feeling today, Charlie? Tight as usual, twice as moody. Uh, Charlie, I have a question. Should the West separate? Of course they should. Do they want the same as everybody else? No siree, Boob. We can't all be your homo. There's got to be your skim and your two percent as well. No, no, Charlie. I'm talking about the trouble caused by people separating. Then it's the fault of your people, not your separator. Had one of them a cream shed with a 20-year guarantee. Never give me a mite of trouble. No, no, I'm not talking about straining your milk, Charlie. I mean people splitting off from each other. Oh, my God, we had two couple done that after we all got in the hay last summer. <laughs> Four people had been in a holy acrimony for pretty near 20 years, and the one took off with the tother, and the tother took off with the tother one. And that was last June, and neither of them split britchin' couples as wrote or even telephoned to see how the others is doing. And I just know them two women is dying to know how the two fellers is getting along cooking for each other. <laughs> I'm talking about this whole country coming apart. Of course it is. What in the Sam Hill do you think keeps this country together if we wasn't coming apart every spring? What else would we do after the hockey and the curling's over and we've all swept together and got our rocks on? Divided we stand, united we fall. It's your national all-wet dream. Well, it's a little late, folks. Good night. Peter's Airlines on a spree. We give you a cup of coffee free. Milk and tea, we have that too. If you want lunch, that's up to you. <laughs> And now it's time for Canadiana Quiz. And here's today's first question. Name Canada's outstanding hockey player of the 70s whose last name is the same as a handheld piece of wood you would use to row a boat. I got it. I got it. Uh, Bobby Paddle. (laughs) 
We take you now to the Gallup, New Mexico offices of Dr. Frank Lloyd Tuckamunder, the internationally famous plastic surgeon who specializes in altering the physiognomies of famous political figures. Uh, hello. Yes, this is Dr. Tuckamunder. Uh, Clark? Uh, Clark who? Oh, m Mr. Clark. Uh, listen, uh, could I get you to speak up, Mr. Clark? Uh, no, sir, you don't need to lower your voice for me. <laughs> yeah, just, just speak up. Now, uh, uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Clark? Y your chin. Uh, gee, there's, there's not much call for doing chins, Mr. Clark. Well, what seems to be wrong with your chin? <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> Boy, that's a bummer, all right, uh, Mr. Clark. Uh, listen, Mr. C, I, I suppose we could build you a new one out of plastic. Uh, no, 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 Mr. Clark, I, I can't make it just like Kirk Douglas, but uh, I, I tell you what, uh, would you settle for Knowlton Nash? <laughs> Listen, I, I don't care how many Hudson Bay blankets you're going to give me, Mr. Clark. I, m my own cabin on Lake Nipigon. Well, gee, I, I'll tell you what, uh, Mr. Clark, I'll check it out with my partner, and uh, in the meantime, uh, keep your chin up. <laughs> well, then, just, just do the best you can. <laughs> And now it's time once again for Canadiana Quiz. And here's another question. Name Canada's most famous political impersonator. Uh, 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 Joe, um, Joe Clark. <laughs> OPEC, in association with Multinational Productions Incorporated, presents... A Republic of Alberta Picture. Pipe Eye, the Oil Man. A saga of international ripoff. Torn from the pages of the oiled west. <laughs> Starring Pierre Elliott Petro as Pipe Eye, a latter day Faust who sacrifices a country for a new constitution. Peter, don't tread on me, no heed, as Blotto, the man who took on the wild bunch from Bay Street and lived to tell the tale. And Bo Derek as Crude Oil. <laughs> With Marcus Lalonde as the conquering emperor who tries to beat the West into submission with an olive branch. Jack Horner as Benedict Arnold. <laughs> and Joe Clark as Wimpy. Pi Pi is a spectacular 30 years in the making. See Pierre Elliott Petro spread Mexican oil on troubled eastern waters. See oil executives heading in panic for the United States or leaping lemming-like into the North Sea. See the children of the prairies bow down under heavy tariffs. See eastern journalists find western separatists under every rock. Gaze in wonder as the Canadian economy sinks while Pierre and Peter try to walk on water. <laughs> Here, the new rock group, Westfed, sings such hits as... Oil be seeing you. It's too late now. Baby, it's cold outside in the dark. Oil is busting out all over. And roll out the barrels. See Pi Pi. Financed by the Heritage Slush Fund. Coming soon to a theater near you. With Joe Clark as... Wimpy. See, it should have been a book. It's a gas. Henry, I'm so frightened. Mother was right. They're going to catch us. Why did I listen to you? Mary, if we just stick to her plan and do like we rehearse, we won't have any problem. This is insanity. To sell everything we own, leave our families and friends behind. Mary, we have been over this again and again. This is our chance for freedom, Mary, and to build a better life. To have the right to wear cowboy boots without fear. To be able to say, yippee. Right out loud. I know all the reasons, but I still can't help being scared, Henry. Henry, Henry, <laughs> you must remember to pronounce your H's. <laughs> yes, you will. And we will make it, too. Our papers are the best forgery money can buy. We have Alberta license plates, clothes, and magazines. And 
I had all the rust spots on the car fix up. If we remember to stick to the words we have rehearsed, our accents are perfect. Look, up ahead, the border crossing. Oh, may God be with us. Good afternoon, folks. Can I see your papers, please? Of course, officer. Folks been on a little holiday, have you? Yup. You uh, bringing back any plants or animals with you? Nope. Uh, any foreign currency? Nope. You lived in Calgary long? All our natural lives. Now, well, here's your papers back. And y'all get ahead now and have a nice day here. Thank you, officer. Uh, could you ask that guy in the half ton to move so I can get by? Well, you just lean on your horn. He'll, uh, he'll pull over. Okay. There. Okay, Froggy, out of the car. Put your hands up on the And now it's time once again for Canadiana Quiz, and here's another question. Name a large city in Saskatchewan named after a well-known berry. Uh, Chuck Berry, Saskatchewan. Uh, go gooseberry? Uh, raspberry. Equal rights for all Canadiens, <coughs> except for the Québécois. We are more equal than everybody else. None of this non-smokers' rights crap. <coughs> we demand smokers' rights to the debt. Fraternité, egalité, uh, du Maurier. Uh, uh, thank you, Monsieur. We can dispense with his demands whenever he dies or when an election is called, whichever comes first. <laughs> Next, the representative of the Maritimes. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's enough of that. Now, now, unfortunately, the delegation from the Northwest Territories has been misplaced by Air Canada. <laughs> However, in their place, we do have a representative of the Eskimos. Dude, that is! Blue 35! Blue 35! That! 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 I now call upon the representative of Canada's first western province, the great Dominion of Manitoba. <laughs> well, all, all right then, let's, let's move along here. The representative from Ontario uh, kindly put down that mace and crown and address the conference. As Canada's heartland, our expectations are quite simple, Mr. Chairman. A two-tiered system on everything, one price for East and West, and uh, a lower one for us. That, that, that's it? Take it 
or shot it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I see. Uh, well, well, it's time we heard from the uh, Eastern Seabird. <laughs> No, 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 the, the Eastern, Eastern Seaboard, a word from Newfoundland. Lord Tundin squidging his vice. What's all this talk of separating? No need for us to separate. We've been separated from the rest of you since I don't know when. And the only guy who didn't think so was we, Joey. <laughs> and now the pigeons are doing to a statue what Ottawa's been doing to us since we joined Confederation. <laughs> the Not only that. How'd you feel if all the red hot news got to you half hour late? <laughs> Lord Tandon, boys, the whole damn city of St. John's could be burned to the ground, and we wouldn't know a thing about it till half hour after she was true burning. <laughs> after all, how can you get the picture on the TV when the damn thing's been burned to ashes? You can't very well go ask your neighbors, can you? <laughs> Especially when none of our neighbors got one. Besides, they're always over here drinking screech and watching ours. You get what I mean, boys? Are you listening to me, boys? Are you listening or do I have to wait half an hour before you answer me? <laughs> boys, listen to me. You're not paying attention, boys. Boys, are you listening to me, boys? Boys, sit over here, boys. Is, is, is he thrown? Is he thrown? Uh, uh, all right, if the representative from Canada's breadbasket province would please put away that little red book. I'd like to give Saskatchewan a chance to speak. Without question, Mr. Chairman, the gravest inequality in Saskatchewan is the price of canola. What, uh, wh wh what's canola? In defiance of the monolithic Eastern money-mongering big business parasites, Did you hear me? we, the free people of Saskatchewan, demand a better price for our canola. What? is canola and the dismantling of imperialist Bay Street. Power to the people! Order! Chicken in every pot and a messy in every machine chest. Sit down, Mr. Representative! Fascist lackey! Uh, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, what, what is canola? Right! <laughs> Yes, well, well, that's the uh, uh, end of this session, Mr. Representative. I'm not finished yet, kid. Uh, I, I, I'm terribly sorry, but our time is uh, up. Ow! I want my pencil. And now it's time once again for Canadiana Quiz, and here's another question. Name a famous heroine during the War of 1812. Her name appears on a box of famous chocolates. I know this one. I know this one. It's Laura, Laura Turtles. <laughs> and now... Charlie Farquharson sings Gordon Lightfoot. And now it's time once again for Canadiana Quiz, and here's today's final question. Name a small fur-bearing mammal recognized as a national symbol of Canada throughout the world. Um, uh, Margaret Trudeau! You're absolutely right! Uh, yeah. You win the water iron, and a huge supply of frozen blueberry incense, plus wow. an all-expense-paid weekend in Canada's fun-filled playland. Uh, goody, 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 goody. Uh, <laughs> uh, mucho! 
$23 gift certificate goes out to Mr. and Mrs. Sinclair of Vancouver for suggesting Margaret Trudeau. Portions of the show were performed live before a taped audience. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.